are not done. Our gourmet Grendel demands a gallant equal. Lightning to his gastric thunder. The livid energy. Meteoric as messenger of long forgotten gods. Hello everyone and welcome to DevStream 176. We are so excited to have you here for probably the next hour and a half, I would say. Hour? Hour? Okay, you can leave it an hour, <laughs> no, maybe. But uh, welcome good, good. one, welcome all. We really do have a lot to get through today. We got news, housekeeping, and a really deep dive into Warframe and Soulframe. We're going to end with Soulframe. Uh, it's not a deep dive. We'll, we'll I'm really insecure like about kay. pushing stuff. It's okay. okay. We can just a little bit. Just a little bit. Teeny Soulframe. <laughs> nope. Major Warframe. That's not Excellent. why we're here. Perfect. Uh, you're here for Warframe, too. Yeah, we got lots. Exactly, but uh, welcome yeah. to our 176th dev stream. This is the first dev stream of 2024. Somehow, it's been 12 years of dev streams. Let's just keep them going. <laughs> I'm going to start off with some introductions, and then we'll hop right on into housekeeping, news, and then we'll get to the meat of the stream. Uh, over to my farthest, farthest left, who is joining us. Hello, uh, I'm Eric, audio lead on Warframe. Welcome. Hello, hello, I'm Pablo, I'm the Design Director on Warframe. Welcome, uh, I'm Rebecca, I'm the former DevStream host, current uh, substitute DevStream host and Creative Director of Warframe. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, the, oh no, I'm Steve. You wish welcome. you were Megan. Welcome all. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Steve's assistant. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, away, Rue will be running the stream today. We're actually live on TikTok Live for the first time, as well as our normal streaming spots, Twitch, YouTube. So, um, hello, TikTok. Mmm, ice cream. So good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're really happy to... <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna give that motivational speech? I need speech? more bullets. I need more bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Reloading. Uh, welcome, welcome, uh, TikTok. Wow. <laughs> Such a what zoom. A <laughs> what? You get it. Yeah, I get it. All right. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, we have lots going on today. Uh, like I said, if you're watching, um, you're going to learn about the next Warframe. So we have a brand new Warframe coming we're going to talk about today. If you watch, we do have a Twitch drop uh, live, an Umbra Form of Blueprint. So if you watch for 30 minutes on Twitch with a linked account, you can claim an Umbra Form of Blueprint. And then, of course, after the stream, you'll be able to play Gift of the Lotus Alerts for either a Pistol Riven mod or a Orkin Reactor, or and, I should say, because there's two alerts, Orkin Reactor Blueprint. So two items that could be yours mm -hmm. after the game. Um, after the stream. After the stream. <laughs> In the game. <laughs> In the game, after the stream. Yep. In the game, after the stream. Uh, we also have some pretty cool merch that launched today. I'm going to caveat a little bit. Um, 
it's a slow regional rollout, and I'm not 100% sure on the full uh, launch. But if you gentle, fine gentlemen could take a look under your seats, oh, wow. um, at the foot, is this an Oprah? At the foot of your couch, at the foot of your couch, oh, to the wow. left, or right. Oh, oh. wow! Oh, good thing oh, I didn't step super on cool. this. Warframe keycaps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold them up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to conceal it. Don't eat them. Um, we do wow. have. <laughs> Is Rue going to switch cameras? No, we can't. He's busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's got a, 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 a telescopic lens on any of them. <laughs> okay. Cool. They're, they're keycaps. We're launching with HyperX. Uh, they're available. There's a news nice. post. They're and I think great. right now they're only ava available they're really cool. in America. Yeah, um, but I think the rollout well is going further. Don't sue me for getting that wrong. As These far are as ours now, right? No, those are the proof. I mean, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> These are the prototypes? They're mine. Yeah. But yeah, those are uh, a new cool thing. Uh, we're doing some, some merch there. Uh, Everyone's squinting at home furiously. <laughs> they look so good. <laughs> yeah. Those three pixels look amazing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> listen, listen, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so there's a news article to learn more there about if and how you can grab those. They launched today. Tenocon date reminder. We're doing Tenocon in person this year, no. July 19th and 20th. No, we shouldn't. Hell yeah, we Too should. scary. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, that's some news. This is, uh, it's hard to get back into the hosting thing. No, you're like, doing great. Like, no, no, yeah, the amount of stuff I have to cover, though. <laughs> you got the... Like riding a bike. You're riding fine. a bike, riding a bike, riding a bike. Wow. I know, yeah. I have a high-tech setup. It's a lot start. of scrolling and cool okay. Apple Pencil. Uh, we <laughs> are... Uh, so this is a Feb... No, this is January. It's January 26th. Uh, by February 1st, which is next week, we're going to launch Star Days for the month of February and a bit. So you'll be able to... Actually, it's a leap year. So February, up till February 29th, you can participate is, in is Star Days. It is a yeah. leap year. One extra yeah. day for Tenocon. One work. extra day for oh, Tenocon. I'll take it. Every I'll day take it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they'll, I'll show you a bit more of that in game, just letting you know. We'll also have a Valentino contest live with that next week, so you can make a Valentine's card and, you know, maybe win some cool prizes. Should be pretty good. Uh, that is some amount of housekeeping. Uh, we also have a website launch today for Warframe. Oh, uh oh. I said, Julie, text me if anything's going wrong. Oh, text. we're checking. <laughs> You are now banned from TikTok. No, <laughs> no, just stream going great, great viewers climbing. Oh, oh my God. God, Julie, I thought you were serious. I was like, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? It was the jokes. It was the jokes. It was the jokes. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, thanks, Julie. Uh, um, so actually, you may have heard a really cool song just now. How can they hear times. more? <laughs> yeah, so uh, on the YouTube channel now and various streaming platforms, Bandcamp, uh, you can get the Gauss Redline track in its entirety. So go check that out. Available for you to, to jam to. The song <laughs> is called Redline. It's available for your infinite grinding or living, whatever you want to call it. It's all yours. I'm going to have to adjust over to some gameplay here. Uh, we also have some Tenno Gen announcements today. Uh, we are ready to launch the Tenno. You can come to my gameplay, Rue, if you don't mind. We are ready to launch Corvex, looking cool, mm -hmm. and Dagoth in the Tenno Gen. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did it build the point? I think we just got oh, banned yeah. from our own game. Do I have to sync? Ouch. I can't get up and sync. Banned from our <laughs> own game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this you one yeah, can you do it, Rue? Sorry. Okay, let me just do, um, I'm just going to close you up to... Uh, okay, so we are ready to launch uh, Tenogen for Dagoth and Corvix, <laughs> as well as exciting news. <laughs> we are launching an Intradi style guide. So if you or someone you know wants to make some Tenogen content that is in the style of the Intradi, we're talking gold medallions, we're talking like textured metals, we're talking full Intradi aesthetics, we have a full art guide up as well as references for you if you want to say make an Intradi melee skin or mm, an cool. Intradi styled skin helmet, anything. We are gonna, op we're opening the doors to our next faction basically. Some new trench coats? Some trench coats? Ah yes, yeah. Yeah. caps and trench coats. Mm -hmm. yeah. I fear that is not <laughs> what I meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> um, there could be some drifter. Drifter stuff? But the only, well, yeah, you could do untrotty operator or drifter things yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. So you could do like two gold coins on your eyes, like, uh, like, um, Charon, Charon? Karen? Car is Karen? I think so. Not Karen. <laughs> not He's Karen. such a Karen. It's no, it's <laughs> Putting coin in your eyes. Yeah, I'll, I got that from there, Rue. Thank you. Uh, you're a saint. You no! What did I do wrong? Is it the nails? 
Oh my god, what is going on? I think it's probably the ploy right now of build yeah. if I oh. were to guess. I think we're in the middle of that. Oh, so I have to actually close it and open it again? I'll yeah. find out. Okay. Steve, you <laughs> troubleshoot. I'll find out. I'll you run the stream. Okay. I'll figure out what's going on thank here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that's coming for Tenno Gen. Well-oiled machine here. Very well-oiled <laughs> machine. Okay. 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 Uh, so yes, Entrati style is coming. Uh, there's a style guide. And of course, we're looking forward to that. The Goth and Corvix files are available to Tenno Gen artists. We already talked about Redline launching. Yes. That's very exciting. Mm -hmm. I thought I would do a brief state of cross-platform save. At this time, we have over 275,000 links, uh, which is pretty cool. Keeping it open until things, you know, if we have to close it again, we're still in that kind of like, it's on, but we're still watching to see uh, if there's things we need to fix before keeping it open. So, pretty good. Very good. Seems awesome. to have made yeah. a lot of people happy over the Very holidays, good. which mm -hmm. is nice. And then it's just so much to go over for today's, oh, I know. When you see us next, it'll be the end of February for a dev stream. So something pretty major is happening this February, and we just said farewell to some new partners of ours who visited all the way from Finland. And Sounds a little more ominous. Yeah, than it did. <laughs> said farewell. We put, the, <laughs> we put the coins on their eyes <laughs> and, and we the sent them off no. <laughs> to the river um, and sticks. We are going through the final touches of getting everything ready for Warframe's iOS iOS launch, which is very exciting. We yes. had our partners from Nitro, Nitro who Games are in Nitro Finland. Games. Yep, great Finland. Guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> no. Megan can't go on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> There yeah. we go. Um, uh, this is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is um, our crew that visited us. Uh, not pictured in this photo are Drew and Dan, who are part of the iOS mobile team, getting the build ready. Uh, and these are our friends that came all the way from <laughs> Finland. OK, you know what? UC <laughs> and UC <laughs> and UC. There's yes. three of them. Three of them had the uh, UC name. All yep. right. I love your style, yep. Rue. Let's yep. just roll the QOL. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do it. There's no way. There's we're it's too late now. Cats out of the bag. Cats out of the bag. Okay. First of all, Whoa. what is Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's bring it down. What is Dante Unbound? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> what is Dante Unbound? We do have a update coming in uh, the month of March called Dante Unbound. This would be normally an echoes of the Whispers update, but we're kind of giving it its own full uh, you know Full, full slate, full feature slate. And we're going to mm -hmm. talk all about those features today. So why don't we talk a little bit about this screen? You can put us back up on it over top of it, Ru, if you don't mind. Dev's back. Uh, an update that definitely was not leaked last time by anyone. Nope. That was here. Nope. No one talked about this <laughs> last time. Not us. <laughs> not us. <laughs> Uh, so we have uh, Dante Unbound. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But we do have a QOL summary for this update. So in March, you can look forward to an Anaros rework. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Cool. Uh, yeah, so um, Inaro's going to get a rework is definitely the the one I get requested the most. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Like um, Twitter and forums is the one I see the most. Okay. But um, uh, yeah, he's a little weird because generally whenever we rework something, we kind of grab the ones that are the least used frames, essentially, are the ones we lift off. And Inaro's is actually kind of close to the middle of the pack. He's a little below, but he's close to the middle. Um, but basically, the, the main issue with him is like a lot of his abilities are just not used. Essentially, a lot of people just use him uh, basically just for the weapons, and then they don't use the abilities. So uh, we're going to do the rework. We're not going to lift him as much as we usually do when we do a rework, because he's already kind of unkillable below level 200 or something. So, <laughs> uh, And basically, he gets unkillable by doing nothing. Like He doesn't have to cast abilities or anything. So. Uh, we're going to lift him, but we uh, don't expect it to be a jump like we had with Hydroid, where you know he went uh, from zero to here. So, um, <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. So stay tuned for more on that next dev stream. We also have a uh, long-standing request: Archon Shard Scent Fusion. So in the Whispers in the Wall update, you were able to combine Archon shards to make new colors, and in Archon Shard. Ascent Fusion, you can pr uh, combine four Archon Shards to make a Tau Forge. So we do have a little work, work in progress screenshot of that. This just shows you how if you do, um, you know, kind of have bad luck and you're only getting normal um, Archon Shards, you will be able to create a Tau Forged variant. So that's something that's coming uh, as well in Dante Unbound. And if you go back to that other slide, let's just keep going down that list. Uh, we have, oh yes, yeah, so we are doing one of our 
uh, degrind efforts, which is a Fortuna Syndicate economy rebalance. So what this is, is it's taking a look at the way you progress in the Fortuna Syndicate and the Vox Solaris uh, Syndicate and really, really reducing the grind there. Um, things like the, the way you need to get the, the amount of debt bonds you need, the amount of uh, you know gyro meg or the repeller or the atmos, we're kind of moving all those things around to really make it fly by as opposed to being Yeah, it's a just a skip pass. Yeah. So seventy five dollars skip yeah, pass. Yeah, seventy five dollars. <laughs> seventy five dollars and you can get through DLC. all the fortuna. Yeah, so we're actually um, not gonna improve it, we're just gonna charge you money to yep. the, yeah. Steven. I got by the way, I got blamed <laughs> for for you in your Halloween I know. outfit. I still get blamed for that in YouTube comments. Really? Yep. Why are you reading YouTube comments? Aren't you a CEO? I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to punish myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll love Dante then. Okay. Uh, okay. So we are doing that for the. Uh, actually, that one might come a little sooner. If we're if we're quick, we are going to get that one out before the March update. Cool. Uh, TBD, and we are going to mm -hmm. make sure that we have some alerts up for people that can get those items um, in the event that they spent them. So. Uh, that's coming, and then you have a little bit of a stat audit, audit for the arsenal coming. Yeah, so basically, wherever we show stats right now, for example, melee weapons have a ton of different stats, like uh, different stats for uh, slam damage or like the spin damage. All of those, we're gonna kind of clean it up a little bit, and ones that are not as important, we're gonna put inside of the tooltip uh, just to kind of clean that up and make it a little more straightforward. Try to explain some, like you know, what does accuracy of 28.3 mean? You know, what does accuracy of 28.3 mean? Exactly. What right? does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I think basically, I remember that. Yeah, so <laughs> just <laughs> random math. <laughs> yeah. It's so like armor and fallout. 50. <laughs> 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 yeah, so try to make those uh, yep. more comprehensible yep. and things like that. I just want to clarify that I was being sarcastic about the skip pass. I, I think, I think yeah, some people, people actually careful. thought you were you Some people think I was serious. Uh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going <laughs> to degrind no, that. But remember, we're streaming on TikTok, so you have to say it in TikTok. I can't speak TikTok. <laughs> no, I got too I got too addicted, so I had uh, to go okay. away. Isn't there like a groundhog that gives you a motivational speech in, yes. in Chinese? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. he'll he'll say it. Uh, okay. We're not charging seventy five. That I'm was not, a joke. Yep. All right. Uh, we also are adding some <laughs> more variety with systemic content. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to ship with Dante, but uh, just to give you a kind of a, a view of what that package is, when you're doing your relics <laughs> or you're doing you know steel path incur incursions, they kind of are all on the core star chart sets. So you'll go to Ceres or you'll go to the Void. We said we have Zeremin, we have the Entrati Labs. We want to make sure that you can play something like an Axie Fisher on those regions just to give you a bit more variety when you're doing those things. So that's uh, hopefully coming. Should be a good one, just so that if you want to do an Axie Fisher somewhere else, you can actually do it in the newer tile sets. And then another big one is the Daviri QOL push. Uh, every now and then when we do something like Whispers in the Walls or we do you know, a non-Daviri update, we are seeing a little bit of, oh, but fix Daviri this, fix Daviri that. So we're doing a really targeted focus on some Daviri quality. Balance pass on the Jackal, as that implies, uh, we're making it so that in the circuit, if you make it past a certain point, your progress up to that point will be saved. Mm -hmm. So if you fail a defense, or if, you know, for God forbid, you have a really nasty host migration that happens to fail due to someone's machine, anything up before that point will be locked in. So yeah, so your points, your resources, yeah. all that will be yeah. saved. Less bug, more hug. Less it's bug, catchy. more hug, Very right? Catchy. <laughs> Very catchy, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so this is coming in the Dante Unbound update. But what the heck is Dante Unbound? What could it be? What, it? what could it be? I've been asking myself since you mentioned it. <laughs> what is it? What do you think? When thinking? that slide flashed, I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this another romance novel that Rebecca's reading? I don't know. Well, it kind of sounds Because <laughs> like it, it kind of sounds <laughs> hot. It, it actually <laughs> is kind of hot. And now that you've said that, this is not an erotic update, but it could be. Oh, man. Yeah. I wouldn't have come to the stream if that was the case. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Let us. Talk about okay. Oh, and Dev is working now. Dev is working. I yeah. Just go back we to us. We have internal deploy hiccup there. Thanks, okay. Glenn, for fixing it. Thank you, Glenn. Yeah. Uh, I would like to talk to you about Dante Unbound. This is the next major update for Warframe coming in March, and it's going to be headlined by a new mm -hmm. Warframe known as. Any guesses to their name? Unbound. <laughs> <laughs> any guesses? No. All of you are wrong. It's Dante, of course. Yes. <laughs> So let's take a look at the concept art of Dante. Uh, it's, it, I'm very excited to talk about him. It is Dante. Oh, hide us. <laughs> there we go. Uh, 
Meet Dante. He is our next Warframe. Uh, the spirit behind him is that he was a, you know, he put the pen to paper, he would document, he would write, and he would catalog much of what the Oricon did. Uh, Dante has been missing, but now that we have found the Entrati Labs and Albrecht's laboratories, uh, we perhaps can find Dante again. So he is going to have an exalted tome, or an exalted grimoire, and he, as you can see with his hand there, he has a quill, so he will be doing a lot of writing as part of his, uh, his skill set. It's a really cool design on the hand. Yeah, the mm -hmm. hand, the quill hand. So this is, uh, this is Dante, and we have a bit to show you today for Dante. Mostly conceptual and work in progresses, but I just wanted to give everyone a look at this wonderful frame. Done by Vadim. This is uh, one of our um, concept artists on the team that put together Dante. That's great. That's awesome. awesome. Yes. So this is Dante front and back view. Uh, this is his exalted uh, tome grimoire. It's called Noctua. If you want to get your Latin hat on, you'll learn a bit more about that. Uh, <laughs> I always have my Latin hat on. Do you always have a Latin mm -hmm, hat on? Mm -hmm. So this is very, very... Um, Gladius. Gladius? Rome. Oh, Latin. <laughs> I see. Uh, so this is some more uh, deeper look at some of his concepts. And then we have... Uh, his alt helmet, of course. He gets a cool little wizard hat. It's like Orko. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Orko, yeah. <laughs> cool. Mm hmm He gets a cool hat. And, uh, oh, okay. So then we'll start talking about his powers. So maybe if you um, come back to us, Drew, I'll go into a little bit there. So Dante is a, um, a character, a frame, that is really going to be telling a story. So he's going to have his exalted tome, and the idea behind him is that you as a player can write his chapters and then cast it in the ultimate. So his second ability will be the Book of Life, his third ability is the Book of Death, and then his ultimate is final chapter where you'll cast the ultimate, which will do whatever prior two pages you did. So you're kind of building a rotation. Maybe you want to do two pages of Book and Life. Maybe you want to do Life than Death or Death than Life. So what we're doing here is the pen, as, at the quill as his hand, is going to be gesturing the story you're telling. So this is a first pass on concept for how to get gestures going. And then we have a mock-up animation with some effects uh, mock-ups as well to show you what it actually will look like when you're casting. So. This will be when you're casting Book of Death, the, um, mm. the actual frame himself will be mm. gesturing, mm -hmm. pulling out the, what you're doing so you can kind of really see what you're doing. And then um, this will be one of the first, frame, first male frame that has his own move set. So Dante will be, this is a really uh, like dev view only prototype. So if you take a look at the next, it's clearly Excalibur with Citrine's helmet, just ignore that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, he'll be... He'll have his own floating move set as well. Oh, cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so really, really, really excited for Dante. And we'll, yeah, give, you, awesome. we'll give you a full gameplay uh, look on a future dev stream, but I wanted to give everyone like the real, the real deep dive. In well, this isn't a deep dive. This is just a first look. He's not playing tic-tac-toe. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. He's not playing tic-tac-toe. So he's, uh, yeah, that's Dante. Any thoughts, comments, <laughs> concerns? I have a lot of questions. Go yeah. ahead. No, I'm, I'm just excited to see I it. I think it's cool. There was, a lot of, there was like a lot of uh, work done on the cast originally yeah. that you were like, no. What? It could, but it was a good change. It was a good change in direction because he was more of a power caster yeah. in the animations. Yeah. Mm. And this new direction, I think, kind of suits With that. the quill mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. They were really beautiful animations, sorry, Walmsley, but um, yeah. they were just like really like, yeah, they just felt like really bombastic, like yeah. a lot of flexing and stuff. And now he's way more kind of like yeah, bookish like writing and yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a really unique take on it. The loving C three caliber. No, <laughs> you sit your caliber. Oh no, we're gonna have to put them in no, game no. now. Uh, <laughs> no, way. No, no, no way. No way. No way. Showing the prototype. Um, is there a way if I'm in full screen to get the editor bar at the top? Or should I do borderless full screen? Mm. No. You want the editor? Yeah, I need, I need to load a level. Um, I have the assets for the keycaps while you're doing that. You oh, okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, it has a shortcut. No, no. I thought there was. I just don't remember what it is. I think it's Alt Enter. Alt Enter. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Real slick. You, you put me on the. Pro, on the Oh, oh, some that. Sweet keycaps. Yes, yeah, so these are the keycaps that may or may not be available in your country and or region. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, See, that's what, that's what you guys could have shown. That's what you could have shown. Sorry, Rue, I'm ruining your uh, 
Yeah. All right. So um, that's some cool stuff for that's like the kickoff for Dante Unbound. We got some cool things launching today. Dante's mm -hmm. a brand new Warframe. Uh, we also have a new deluxe skin coming with this mm -hmm. update. Any guesses on who, chat? Who, whoms could it be? Who's due for a deluxe? Who's due for a deluxe, I wonder. Hmm. You've already seen your Elliot Tenocon, so that's not right. Dagath is a bit too new. Your Ellie, you already saw at Tenocon, and if you don't remember, go Google it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh my god, wow. no one's guessing That's it. How can this be? Yeah, no one's got uh, it. Yeah, no, lots of Calvin. I think they're just saying the ones that they already saw. Oh. What do you mean they already saw? Anyone gonna say something? Yeah, like your Ellie. Someone said Steinax. I saw okay. that. I think Reb said it. Okay, so <coughs> introducing a first look uh, in two phases of Steinax Deluxe. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> the wonderful Liger has provided a beautifully inspired alternate look of our shield and spearman. Styanax is here with uh, an incredible look. Yep, pretty, uh, pretty great. I love the colors. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> We're going to break. Oh, is this safe for TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, and this is the initial concept. Uh, is, this safe for <laughs> <laughs> is it? I don't know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> 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 just like zipping my lips. The locks just like don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Steinax <laughs> is looking a little excited. <laughs> yeah. And then we have um, Nathan had put together some poses here. He's been working on the sculpt and as well as Ernesto on the weapon uh, accessories here with his spear and shield. So this is uh, the sculpt. It's not final, but it's posed for you to take a look at what you'll be looking like in game. To yeah, that's awesome. Technically in game, you know, this is through cycles and Blender, but you know, looks uh, great progress. incredible. Yep. Mm. Oh, so that's nice. Really, that's really great. beautiful attention to detail, interesting new, um, you know, mosaic materials mm -hmm. going on there. Mm -hmm. A lot of physics happening with uh, Mr. Styanax. Yeah, we're quite excited, and this will be coming with Dante Unbound. Awesome. The mosaic's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, as well as coming with, I mean, I feel like I'm just talking the whole time. Usually Megan asks questions, I guess. What's going on, everyone? <laughs> Who's <laughs> prizes? Why is Steinax excited? Yeah, we haven't had <laughs> one. Wow. Yeah. Okay, do a prize, Let's please. do a prize. Please, thousand platinum. Only because you said please. Thank <laughs> you, Rue. <laughs> we got lots of... It's coming in March. March. Really cool looking. Hit. Yep, Aztec vibe. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of, a lot of positivity. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's going on? So we got a pog. I had to think. Who's the winner? Who's it going to be? Goggle <laughs> underscore head. Goggle head. You won. Congrats. Way to go. That was shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So message us, we'll hook you up. You won a thousand platinum goggle head. Way to go. Is that the easiest so username I've ever I seen yeah, on the stream <laughs> in all my life that I've been doing this? Mm -hmm. Very suspicious. Thank you for your easy <laughs> username. All right. Uh, we have, okay, so we're still kind of in the umbrella of Dante Unbound. So mm -hmm. we got an update. It's coming in March. It has Dante. It has Anaros rework. It has all that QOL. It's mm -hmm. got Steinex Deluxe. It also has another QOL that a lot of people have really wanted, which I'll show you right now in gameplay. This is very important. Top tier. What could this mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what could this mean? Oh, uh, he's not sure. He's not sure. Sometimes <laughs> when you make a really depressed character. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. There's an obligation yeah. to provide them okay. with a. Uh, yeah. Much needed. Much needed. <laughs> yes. yeah. 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 Sorry about your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry about your life. Should, we, should that be the button? Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry for your life. Yeah. Um, all of the. Don't tell me your backstory <laughs> ever no. again. All of the. <laughs> now you cannot hug Lloyd. I'm afraid. I guess like a slight spoiler warning, but uh, you cannot hug Lloyd, but you can hug each of the cavia. Really? Yeah. With quotes. With quotes. What do you mean? <laughs> well, you know. How are you going to hug a fish? I was going to say, that's, that's <laughs> you know, the thing. We'll let, we'll let the gamers figure that out when it launches. Oh, you're not oh, going to spoil it? What do you think? Your call. Such a tease. Your call. I want to see the fish one. Do you jump in the top of the tank? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What happens? Dunk tank. It's pretty cool. All right. Attention. How do you show aff affection to a fish? I'm ready. Fish hug? Here we go. 
what's gonna happen? What's he gonna do? It's not. It's like a little moonlight. Oh. It's like shape of water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that's as far as it goes. <laughs> it's like shape of water. <laughs> smile though. <laughs> and if you do that hundred times, <laughs> yeah. 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 hundred times, you're yeah. gonna try. Yeah. 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 It's cinematic for yeah. you, yeah. especially yeah. given the actor. Yeah. 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 At the tag for station because we okay. do have, we do have some feedback on net. now this is like a little bit of like a dual setup Three. moment because we do have a February dev stream where we're going to talk about another feature of Dante Unbound but we do have a lot of feedback on Netra cells um, and namely you know if you do some calculus on the arcane drop rates it'll take you two years to do that and we are planning on addressing that. People are angry at making the bird wait. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I think the bird one's broken. Oh. <laughs> but we'll do it because you asked. Why not? Well, we already had a broken deploy. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, okay. uh, I think let's the bird, it. I think the offsets on bird three are broken. I'm very sorry, chat, for leaving bird three behind, but I knew it was broken. You didn't know uh, it was he broken. Like he's excited, though. Okay, fine. Here we go. It might break. So far, so good. Okay. So far, so good. Oh. 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 Yeah. oh. <laughs> Okay, it's fixed. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Looks sort of intimidating at first. Yeah, it was going to be an attack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the offsets. And then the butt shot. A little butt shot. Okay. There you go. It didn't break. I hope chat feels happy. Full screen? Oh, I don't care about that stuff at the top. Yeah. No. So I can't go full screen. I need. I need to go. Yeah. So it's okay. Okay. Netracel drop rate stuffs. Uh, yeah, not not exactly directly related to Netrosel, but basically we have like a new, a new, uh, a new activity, let's say, uh, that has basically rewards tuned up that you can do instead of some of the Netro cells. Yeah, we plan, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess we'll go into full details next. Yeah, because I wanted okay. to see a bit more okay. implemented yeah, before we'll we promised Yeah, we'll show you like it. QI and stuff for the next time. Yeah, but basically we have a way and a plan to give you a longer way to, I don't even, now I'm just rambling. So this activity, <laughs> does, I mean, it, I'm pretty excited about it. Honestly. I'm hyped about it, but. The, the document I wrote for it literally is like four years old. I've been like trying to get this done for yeah. four years. So I'm pretty excited to, oh, cool. to finally. Uh, but I think for those of you it. who are, cool. um, for those of you who have concerned about Netrosol drop rates and uh, the likelihood of getting things, we have a substitute activity that's pretty, in, in, like, you know, four years of thinking have gone into it, so it's going to be perfect and flawless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not, not so much. He said four years ago, not four years <laughs> in the yeah, okay. <laughs> Next dev stream, we'll talk more about Netrosel loot and how you can have a better shot at some things. But if you're worried about specifically legendary arcanes, that activity has a guaranteed legendary arcane at the end. Yes. Uh, all right, so um, nice. I'm just going to go back to my little. Uh, I think people were kind of uh, taken aback by how big Bird was. Bird is huge. Yeah. 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 Bird, when he gets close like that, you're like, whoa. All right. Um, we got lots <laughs> I wonder how Sheldon's doing, actually. I know, Sheldon's not like that. That's for yeah. sure. He's the one that tried to break the animation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to talk a little bit now about um, a long overdue. And there's a very passionate part of the Warframe community that cares about Kubro fur. And okay. I have it as a likely outcome that Dante Unbound, Unbound is bringing the Kubro fur revolution. Fur Unbound. Fur Unbound, mm -hmm. which is a different book that I'm reading. <laughs> not, not Dante. Oh, no. Furry <laughs> Unbound? <laughs> um, and uh, we, we, can, uh, we can take a look at some videos here from uh, Frederick on the character team. Uh, we have some upgrades to Kubra Fur. Oh, great. This is good. So yeah. these are okay. some videos. Uh, they're yep. captured with, I think we have some newer videos since I took these from Basecamp, but you oh. can really get a sense of, yep. uh, yeah. So this is like an age-old thing. I think it's been three, four years. Yeah, we have. It's been, uh, a, it's been a while. Yeah, we, aka me, have botched trying to get this out a few times yep. actually, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it was um, changing the tech without getting the content team mm -hmm. to really uh, to really match it, and that they've done that now. So. Finally, they're all furry and bushy, and it looks fantastic. Yes, yes. Mm. and and you can. They're trying at different lighting conditions to make sure it holds up under different light. Yes, yeah. which was a big part of the the problem before. Yeah, so we're so fuzzy. So 
uh, hopefully this will be coming with Dante Unbound, like I mentioned, Great. and we're looking forward to that. Awesome. Uh, oh, look at them. Yep. Look at them all. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many vibrant fur such patterns a, and such stuff. Such a huge lift. It is such a huge lift. They almost yeah. look reptilian sometimes yeah. in a weird way. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully. Great work, guys. Yeah. Really, really nice to see that one getting um, out the door, because then you don't really need to like think about it anymore once it's out of the backlog, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm never thinking clear, about... Clear the backlog. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we also have... Oh, we have so much still. Ooh. Are we going to talk about finishers? No. no. No? Can I talk about finishers? Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> you want me to load anything in game? No, no. Okay. Uh, so not the, no, it's not directly tied to Inaros rework, but it actually benefits Inaros quite a bit. Mm. Essentially, right now, we have a lot of inconsistencies with finishers. Like, for example, an infested charger, you can do finisher from behind, but not from in front. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of enemies that you cannot do either. Uh, so basically, we have a lot of inconsistencies like that, and we're working to address those. Not specifically for Inaros, but obviously Inaros, with his one, benefits from it a lot. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's also something we're aiming to release with um, Dante Unbound. Dante Unbound. Finishers sure. Unbound. <laughs> yeah. Finisher Fur Unbound. <laughs> Fur Unbound. <laughs> yeah, poor Scott Johnson was like, oh yeah, all the, all the new like, uh, enemies from yeah. the man on the wall. Yeah. yeah, we were looking like 27 iterations yeah. and <laughs> then for each enemy and yeah. from front and back. Yeah. And yeah. It's quite the matrix <laughs> <It's> of combinations. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, we also have, uh, as you know, with Whispers in the Wall, we launched our new lighting system. So that was the first mm -hmm. world we built that used GI lighting. Yep. And now we are... I noticed those fur examples might not have been they weren't. in that new lighting but system. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I did want to uh, take a opportunity to talk oh, about okay. some lighting improvements that we're going to start rolling out to the rest of the game. So a lot of people thought that, you know, Whispers in the Walls was one of the best looking tile sets we've ever did. Well, True. I was thinking yeah. about when you were just walking through hugging the animals. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you come to my screen, Rue, uh, this is a test level that's showing you the GI lighting to probably the most used space in Warframe. Well, most familiar mm -hmm. spot. Most familiar spot. Yep. So I don't have an AB video uh, just because yep. I didn't have time to do it, but yep. this is just a uh, work in progress pass with the GI lighting in your landing craft the, or orbiter or mm -hmm. or, or. Okay, great. So yep. we can take a look here, go down, really see how it really feels fresh. Clean. Clean, mm -hmm. clean, clean. It's clean. just the clean look to everything. Yeah, so it's really... Um, the death of light maps. Death of light maps, the birth mm. of GI lighting. Yep, great. Uh, yeah, so that's um, coming. I think we're going to have this lighting pass done for yep. Dante Unbound. What about the helmet area and stuff? Like, what's that? Like, uh, what there is a script error if I walk into it. Oh, so crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I not shouldn't have said it. anything. Yeah. You should just shut up next time. <laughs> well, yep. let's, uh, let's like, walk around. Let's, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Really cool stuff there All right. for some lighting passes. Uh, we also have, hmm, I don't know where to jump to from here. There's, there's too many things. Why don't we talk about what could be the most revolutionary fix in the history of Warframe? Wow. It's okay, I'm excited. More than Kubro for We could end the stream after this video and I would feel like I could leave Warframe and this is all I would have ever wanted yeah, to see happen. Just, it's done. It up. Yeah. You're done? You're going <laughs> to out of beta, the finally. <laughs> it's it's out of beta now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what could it be? Time to release it. It's <laughs> going to be, it hold the melee? Oh, no. no, your wrist's no. not broken, no. so it's not that. Since yeah. the dawn of time, Warframe players have been cursed by lowish objects on slopes. Oh, uh, I know what you're going to talk about. Go ahead and play Sticky Corners. About. Sticky Corners <laughs> update. <laughs> Go ahead and play Sticky Corners. Yeah. Any time that you are walking on a slope, running on a slope, and there is any object on the slope, you will get stuck. It doesn't matter if you feel like you should be going forward, you will simply get blocked. In Dante Unbound, we have... Corners Unbound. Corners <laughs> Unbound. You will be able to traverse in our traversal oh, base shit. game. Look at wow. That. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. This is... For a game about movement. Yeah. That uh, <laughs> seems like a good thing yeah. to address. When I tell you that yeah. this is the only thing that I would have wanted to see this that year. That is fantastic. Yes. Look at chat. No reactions like this That's to hilarious. Dante, to <laughs> Stylax. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. the sticky, sticky corners. Can we just play that again from the, from the start? Oh, no. Here, actually, we'll just... Oh, like, you should be able to go. Yeah. You can't. Okay, it's and then corners. after the fix, what happens? And then what happens? Oh, oh. it's still <laughs> stuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, no this is a loop. I'm reacting yeah. in the wrong yeah. order. Yeah. I d we didn't rehearse this. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so no longer will Sticky Corners plague a Warframe 
community. And this is from one of our engineers on SoulFrame. Oh! <laughs> so, <laughs> just telling you. What do you mean? This is Warframe benefiting from the, the Soul Frame work. You had a lot of slopes in Soul Frame mm -hmm. with a lot of clipping? We had a lot of sticking. <laughs> no, you <laughs> raised it. Yeah. And uh, because uh, he's so good at uh, physics stuff, he's like, I'm going to first rush it and, and fix it for Warframe. What do you say? Well, he's an <laughs> <laughs> I think he's literally <laughs> Anyway, that is it. That that's is a that's a great cool. uh, fantastic, fantastic. a great contribution and great tech sharing. Yeah. Happy mm. family here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's uh, <laughs> those sticky corners. I'm so excited. It's like I a can't. good nose blow. <laughs> you set yeah. it up so hard that I was yeah, surely going to be disappointed, and I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Really? I wasn't disappointed. I was like, yes, she's right. This, <laughs> is, this is absolutely small and huge at the same time. I have, I cannot, yeah, anyway, I'm really yep. excited for that. Um, it's like a core in our physics library yeah, update. Totally. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's deep in the guts of Warframe for yep. sure. There's a recompile of our PhysX third-party library we use from NVIDIA. I was like, he was right in there, yeah. fixing their, the, core, the core stuff. Nice work. Speaking of core stuff, we have a citation from Steve Sinclair, CEO of Digital Extremes. You're going to embarrass me because uh -oh. I know you, you're setting me up. Because <laughs> I said something and I'm wrong. And you're, you're going to revel in that. <laughs> on the twenty, <laughs> on the twenty third of January, you claimed that we were going to double our load speeds based on the static level. I was going to cut load time in half, yeah. but yeah, whatever. We call uh -oh. double load speed half <laughs> load time. <laughs> okay, 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 hold on. However, let's start. Twice as fast, half as long. <laughs> 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 let's start. Yes, and I and I cited. I know what you you're going to say. Mache. I cited Mache, and, and then Mache he heard about this and said, "I'm going to I'm going to tell him the truth with facts and logic." And, and <laughs> it, I've been faxed and logic. So first of all, we are Oops. making great improvements to some things in Warframe. Let's take a look at static level one, and these are some of the uh, savings we've made for uh, virtual memory. Uh, just memory in general. Yep. Uh, the vert mem size is just the name yep. of the stat internally, yep. but uh, this um, is uh, our tools team. Jem has been working with the tools team. Uh, we have like a big game object. If if there are any programmers, we have like a really huge big game object that we use for everything: trees, rocks, uh, walls, railings, a light. Every little thing in the game is this really big, comprehensive, flexible game object. And they've been converted from, I don't know, three kilobytes now, now down to like 256 bytes or something like that. So it's, it's just this massive uh, reduction in this, what, what we call it, an engineer uh, would call this a god class, is, is no longer for anything that's sort of static in the game. Uh, and so this is huge memory savings. Um, obviously, you can imagine this is a benefit that we're seeing come back from uh, IOS. Yes. Uh, or at least targeted at yep. that, which is memory constrained, but yielding benefits to every SKU yes. of the game. And it comes with loading speed improvements that aren't as good as I had hoped, but, but are very good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> They're still great. They're um, still great. But it's actually, uh, yeah. loading is not two times faster, only streaming from town and not all platforms, loading should be faster, but not two times. So that means if you're talking to Konzu and you're streaming out. Yeah. Um, I did see a, a stat on Switch. It was almost twice as fast for some cases. Is he facts and logic me that, though? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. Next dev stream, we'll come back with okay. answers, though. Okay. Uh, I saw it was like. Okay, maybe that's like the, okay. the CEO disease. I'm exaggerating yeah. <laughs> our, our yeah. successes the now. The shareholders but, want but to. Yes, the yeah. shareholders <laughs> want half <laughs> yeah. or double. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, um, no. But yeah, oh, no. Th this, comes, this comes with um, an, a related uh, change where for people that are on slower hardware, um, this is PC, this would be on the phone that's coming uh, soon as mm -hmm. well. This would be on Switch. This would be on Steam Deck. We throttle you down when we're streaming across those uh, barriers from hubs into the open worlds and back. Mm -hmm. And we were throttling you down so that you'd have maybe uh, you know, 20 milliseconds or you know, more of the 30 FPS that we throttle you down to. We were only giving you two milliseconds. And so you have all this extra time. So it's, sh it's shaving so much time off of these transitions. Even on a high-end PC, you can notice it. But it, uh, again, if you are 120 FPS, it's not going to be impactful. But if you are uh, playing on platforms that have um, lower frame rates or lower C uh, CPU capacity, it's a massive improvement. And that's rolling out very soon.
Excellent, excellent. So uh, we will get you with some hard uh, numbers on what's uh, going on there for uh, the record to be set straight. We don't want to be, you know, um, optimization charlatans in this dev stream. Where's the number that's not? <laughs> I thought you had some receipts. <laughs> I, I thought you had some receipts. I don't know. It's, it's so just potentially it could be right. Less than half <laughs> could be 49%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Um, so with Dante Unbound, we have all these things coming uh, so far. I don't know if we need a like recap so far. We do have a recap slide at the end. But uh, we also are actually expanding the labs. We have about 12 mm. new tiles that you'll be able to play through, um, as well as reporting over a game mode with a twist. So we are bringing disruption to the Intradi labs with a little bit of a twist for some optimizations and fixes to it. So that's coming in Dante Unbound, a brand new um, well, ported game mode, but still new enough there. As well as we're bringing back some very important, um, we're bringing new tiles. So you'll have way more to play in and way more to see, including, uh, if you want to come over, Rue, in the quest, many of you saw this tile, oh, yeah. but it was never actually included tough. in the uh, the actual mission. So this is coming, so you'll be able to, to get a better look here. Will you get hit by a train? Will you there were some hilarious bugs. I know, <laughs> poor <laughs> Hannah. She always would try and get hit by the train for the QA. So this lovely tile will be making its way back. I don't know. How many did you say? 12. 12. I think 12. There might be more, might be less, but 12 was the last I heard. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll blame Carrie. Fine with me. Mm -hmm. um, and then, Rue, if you don't mind hopping away for a sec, I'm going to give you two worlds of level design and level art. Uh, I'm going to show you a tile that's really on the um, unfinished style side still, so you can see how this process is made. And then maybe, Eric, you can talk a bit about like how you would even start sound design for a tile like this. Oh, <laughs> only, only kind of yeah. unfinished. <laughs> it's kind of unfinished. <laughs> Come on, Rue, let's see what we got here. Look at that. Look at that. It's shippable. Oh, yeah. So uh, this is one of the t um, tiles coming in its gray box form. And you know, oh, that's piece of glass. <laughs> oh, there's no teleport <laughs> volume. So as you can see, you know. Starting strong. Starting strong. <laughs> What would you do with this here from sound? Here we start to put in a lot of uh, a lot of the templated sounds that we made for other tiles that were yep. a bit further along, and uh, just kind of thinking about a general vibe of it, getting an idea for where we want to place all of our positional sounds uh, and any gameplay elements that might be involved. We'll think about at this stage. Yes. Uh, but that's kind of the extent of it <laughs> in terms of the great box. So let's take another stage. look then at a further <laughs> along tile. Don't mind me, Rue. Um, just this oh, one. like a little live progression thing here? Yes, we do. Yeah. The next one is called Gemini, code name. Code name Gemini. And this one is not quite ready for ship, but let's take a look. Ooh. So this is Gemini. This one is, you may think it's ready for ship, but it's not, because Eric hasn't gone in and given us sound at every possible corner. Lots of details to add. Yeah, we've got some books. Don't be late. we got more books. Why are you shooting the books? <laughs> That's what Dante, Dante is going to be I'm trying pissed. to lure Dante. <laughs> Dante will be pissed, it's true. But this is um, a newer one. Ooh, looks like. Uh, well, lots of cool nooks and crannies in this one, too. Uh oh. Die man in the wall. Is that a kill <laughs> He's in the shoot there. He's, <laughs> He's over there somewhere. <laughs> He's over there somewhere. Uh, so we have uh, more coming for you to experience, explore play missions new and old and or yeah. Dante and Dante. maybe Dante's there. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh There you go, there's a nook. Uh oh. Mm. Ooh, style. Look at that. Man in the gap. I love the combination of the Yeah, really, really cool stuff yeah. here. Some I'm not gonna look at all the secrets, but you know. Uh, so we do have a tile set expansion coming as well which is going to add to the update that you can expect. I saw someone asking if there was more furniture on Birth 3. More furniture? I think there is, actually. Yeah, we are adding more furniture uh, to, to Birth 3. Okay, we also... Oh, so we are in Whispers in the Walls. One thing that's had a little bit of a feature as an issue was Mirage. <coughs> right. So why don't you take us through Mirage as a frame, namely her Eclipse update. Yeah, really, it's Eclipse, the one that has problem. Um, so Eclipse, uh, like here we can see, basically it has a, it's broken in a couple of places and unreliable on others. So this is in the labs. I'm standing right next to a big source of light. 
and it's detecting as if I am in pure darkness. Essentially, it's giving me the maximum darkness. No. That's because uh, GI lighting and eclipse just don't yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. And then in the open worlds, I think I have one for PoE. So right, this is middle of the night inside of a tent, so I'm inside of a shadow, and it says that I'm in the brightest light possible, <laughs> right? So uh, this has been broken. This one has been broken for years, but anyways, this one's uh, unrelated. And then finally, this video kind of shows the unreli unreliable nature of it. So if I'm at the top of the stairs, I have 75%, which is the maximum, yeah. and at the bottom, I have zero. And if I look at them, they don't really look that different. I think as a player, mm -hmm. as a player, it's tough to really say, like, where do I stand to get the the maximum benefit. So uh, we find ourselves at a crossroads. <laughs> and uh, basically, the, the main reason I'm telling you this is because we're kind of, we're here to solicit your feedback. <laughs> so we're going to be adding a post in the forums to kind of go over this. The main, the main things that we can do is, A, we can just fix those two first examples. It's not as easy because the global illumination, and Steve, uh, a graphics expert, can correct me, but all of that is done in the GPU, and that makes it quite complicated to, to fix. It is possible, but it is, it is hard. Uh, yeah. And at the same time, we've received so many requests over the years to make it more reliable yeah. that we're sort of wondering, well, if, is it worth it to fix it, or should we rework it into something new? and yeah. make it a toggle or something. Yeah. yeah. So we, if you do exclamation mark Eclipse, you'll be directed to our forum post that will give you a chance to give feedback to help us make a decision. Yeah, and uh, the main thing with the toggle that I just want to clarify, helmet, uh, right now the Eclipse helmet is the second most used helmet in the game. So if we were to just make it a toggle and remove its only weakness, which is how unreliable it is, <laughs> it would just explode to the moon. So we cannot just do that. We would have to find some way to kind of throttle, throttle it back. Yeah. Um, it's fine for Mirage. For Mirage herself, we could make it a toggle, and I think it'd be fine. But for the helmet, which affects everything, it would be just too powerful. So we'd have to find a way. That way can be either uh, lowering how much the numbers are on just the helmet version. It could be something that kind of delays. For example, we had some ideas like, uh, if you haven't taken damage, you start getting the damage bonus. But if you take damage, you, you lose that and start yes. gaining the protection bonus. Yep. So that's a way to keep it. It's not, it's not like fully reliable, but now it's in your hands to be dodging damage. Another one was an idea of creating uh, random shafts of light near you. Anyways, there's, there's like a bajillion ways to solve it. Yep. Uh, but anyways, we're, we're kind of hoping for your feedback so you can tell us what you think, and then we'll, we'll parse through that and kind of Think it through. Vote for a toggle. Vote for a toggle. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll have to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> we are campaigning. <laughs> yeah. Toggle yeah. and rebalance. Thank toggle you. Toggle and rebalance. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Vote for toggle. Yeah. Uh, what's this? I have a receipt. Do you now? Oh. So if you load on undocked Nintendo Switch from the star chart to Orvalis, 29 seconds. If you stream from Fortuna to Orvalis on Switch, undocked, 57 seconds. Oh, and this I fix, could read a whole book in that. This time. fix makes it now 29 seconds. That is not is that quite half, half mm. but it's really close. Mm. And if we round it enough, <laughs> it, would be, it would be half. So Rebecca was right. So, <laughs> so you're saying, <laughs> saying, <laughs> oh, come on. You guys are going to give me the Thanks benefit to of the me, yeah. Thanks to me, Trudy. Oh, man. 57, 29, <laughs> bank error. Come on. So in, okay. uh, in Dante Unbound, we yep. have um, another little en enemy coming. Uh, this is an enemy that Eric did sound work on as recently as yesterday, so we mm -hmm. want to talk a little bit about the Gruzzling. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. the Gruzzling? Oh, what? <laughs> is this related to no. the Crumb Guzzler? <laughs> he's a little Gruzzler. Look at him. Does, is this related to Crumb it is Guzzling? Not, I had no role in naming the Gruzzling. Oh my god, it has is to be related. Does he Gruzzle and Guzzle? No! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the Gruzzling wants to steal your loot. He wants to play. <laughs> if you play Disruption, the Gruzzling wants those uh, conduit keys. The Gruzzling is a little bit of a goblin, if I may say so. Mm -hmm. This might be one of the best. He steals your stuff and he runs away. Added the Gruzzling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a loot goblin, basically. Yeah. Oh yes. my god. He's a Gruzzler. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's. he's, he's <laughs> 
guzzling as a gremlin. He's a gremlin. <laughs> so what, okay. do you, what does he sound like, Eric? If you can imagine what a, <laughs> what a gremlin sounds like. <laughs> Let's just say he enjoys taunting you in void tongue. Okay. Oh, <laughs> cool. And yeah, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he sounds like something that you want to destroy yeah. Im immediately. We're going to gruzzle all the tunnel. Uh, anything you did not prepare me for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that I all know night. That That's you know, so hilarious. <laughs> he actually had a very complex name, and then Oof. I saw V2 of the name was Gruzzling. It used to be called, um, he had a different name before, but then I saw Gruzzling, and I was like, that's the one. That's that's the one. That's the one. That's oh, the winner. This is, uh, if you come to my gameplay room, this is a very, very work in progress dev look at it. Um, not like the effects, the animations, not done at all. I'm just showing you for, for the He lulls. doesn't even run away right he now. He doesn't even run away. So, you know, this is kind of him. You'll see him in the levels. He's going to float away. He's going to steal your oh, loot. Yes. Um, he's really, really a fun little guy. A little bit of a... A little bit of a pest, if you will. Troublemaker. He'll sound yeah. like a pest. Yeah. Oh, and he's split. He has like a mimic ability, you know? So I'm going to get grizzled. Oh, no. Let <laughs> 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 um, see if I can. Anyway, so you can, uh, yeah, you can look forward to this character coming. Uh, he will be dropping things kind of similar to the Corpus Treasurers, but all in a murmur style. So, yeah. A cool. fun addition. That's hilarious. Fun yeah. addition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like the gruzzling? <laughs> oh, uh, Soma Chords. Yeah, Soma Chords Unbound. Yes, tell us oh, more. Everything's yeah, unbound yeah. in this. Yeah, I know. We're going to have a slew of new uh, Soma Chords for the music lovers out there. Uh, we're going to have eight Soma Chords coming from the uh, Whispers in the Wall soundtrack. Yes. Amazing. Uh, so you'll be able to scan those around uh, some of the new levels and some of the yes. old levels. Uh, there's going to be Soma Chords coming to Varzia for all of the Prime trailers. We're finally officially releasing the Prime trailer music. So if you like yes. Octavia, oh, Gara, awesome. Gauss, you can buy them with Aya from Varzia. Yeah, they'll all be there in yeah. their glory. Yes. Fantastic. And uh, two uh, highly requested Soma Chords, the ambient and combat music from um, the new Corpus set that was released a while ago. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Parvos Granum's world. Parvos Granum's world, yeah. 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 So awesome. we got lots of music coming, hopefully for Dante Unbound. We're trying, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's the aim. Yeah. yeah. And for $75, you can get a stereo mix. <laughs> of the yeah, that's all mono. So your enjoy lesson. your AM yeah. radio. But Beatles, Beatles version or? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beatles. I'm warning you with peace and love. The peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. I cannot I'm accept warning anymore. You. <laughs> I cannot sign yeah. anymore. Yeah. Do not. I'm too busy. Warning you. Okay. All right. Uh, we okay, also. Okay, Ringo. All right. So in the update, so we got Dante. We got disruption. We got the Gruzzling. We got new music. We got new tiles. <laughs> yep. We can hug animals. Wouldn't it be nice if we had new weapons? It would. Introducing <laughs> two new weapons coming in Dante Unbound. The first and finest and all that the Entrati art style has to offer is whatever one you put up. I'll just name it when you put it up. Okay. <laughs> this is the Onos. This is a uh, Entrati arm cannon that has its own incarnate form that turns into, well, sorry, it's a wrist-mounted launcher that turns into an arm cannon. This is the Onos. From hand cannon to arm cannon. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, no! I didn't want to do that. I oh, didn't no. want to do that. So, the O Nos, which is. You guys are killing it with the name. <laughs> this year in a roll. This gun is called O Nos. <laughs> the O Nos is coming. Looks great. And yeah, you'll have this wrist mounted, like, you know, that yep. Sonicore vibe, yep. the Atmos vibe. And then if you get your Incarnate fuel, you can turn it into that crazy uh, incarnate arm. That is out of control. Yeah, cool. super cool. Yeah. And so this is an in-game look uh, from um, the art that was done. Beautiful. And then we also have, this is a, I'll, I'll take you through the journey of the Ruvox, which is actually Dante's signature weapon. This is uh, an Entrati fist weapon. So he's going to have, we haven't done a fist weapon in a while. Um, so here we'll have these Entrati, you're basically punching with coins, <laughs> big punches, very exciting. Dante will be punching. And then this is what the... Punching with coins. Yeah. Yep. Got some Entrati fist weapons. And then they themselves, for the first time, a signature weapon is an Incarnan weapon, will be turning into Incarnan nice. claws. So this is the shape work of the Incarnan claws, just on Warframes for reference for clipping and demonstration mm -hmm. purposes. So Grendel with the... Demonstration purposes. purposes. <laughs> this is Grendel with the Ruvox in its claw form. Okay. 
So you're right basically on. going from fist to claws as you're doing your uh, transformation there. So very okay. cool. And awesome. then I think we have one more with Zephyr. Or no, okay, just we don't. No. Cool. Yeah. So we got some more incarnate weapons coming with Dante Unbound. Right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why don't you guys do a prize while I'm looking for what else we have to do? Fistful of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. Yeah. Are you gonna give it a coin sound effect on hit? Oh, now we have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to make you. Uh, do we do a prize? Yes. Well, yeah. I'm. Yeah, let's it's, uh, yeah. it's thinking. Let's rock a prize. Yeah. Fill the air time, guys. Anything. Anything at all. He's going because we've gone in the random order. You have to. Well, no. Carefully I'm actually go ready for soul frame. Oh, are we? No. What time is it? Oh, okay. Well, well, we're almost out of time anyway. Yeah. Did you get your video? I don't know. Yes. Nice. Thanks, oh, Ruth. 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 All right. So we've talked about lots. Oh, actually, there's one more recap for Dante Unbound. The winner? Do we have a winner? It's thinking. Okay. Oh, wow, it's still going. We're going to do a recap uh, of Dante Unbound for everyone, and then we'll talk about Soul Frame and do more prizes. Are we going to say augments? Oh, right. We have 10 augments. Well, it's in the recap slide. All right. Yeah. Which is not much of a recap. I guess it's more breaking news. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to get the thousand platinum? <laughs> I don't think I have any more gameplay to show, so I'm going to move. Kyo Prop 16. Wow, that's a cool name. Nice. Kyo Prop 16, you've won. Message us, and uh, someone on the community team will hook you up with your prize. Congrats on winning. Congrats. You buy the right channel for all those sum yes. chords. <laughs> all those sum chords. Okay, <laughs> can you hide? All right, so Dante Unbound feature summary. March is our expected release month. We'll talk more about that later. Dante is coming. Steinax Deluxe. Two incarnate weapons, the Rubox on the Oh No's. <laughs> <laughs> Disruption. We have our lab expansion with new tiles. Augments, so if you want to talk a bit about those. And then much, much more. Uh, yeah, the, the, the augments, the only thing to say is like last year we did very few, so this time we're kind of dialing up to 11 or 10 to be precise because that's how many we're going to read. Actually, we're going to do 11, but one doesn't count. Why doesn't one count? Uh, oh, is it the Because it's just is a it the passive one? disable. Yeah, okay. The one that I. Yeah. That one? The one that I've been asked. Uh, yeah, uh, everyone asked for it. So uh, that one doesn't count, but there's 10 plus that one. Uh, okay. I did see a question in chat go, go by real quick about PS5 performance issues, and that is on the radar and people are working yes, on that. Yes, yes. There's a couple things uh, there. Yep, there. One of them is with, I mean, uh, Cora or something? Yes, but I think there's also a V-Sync issue ah. as well, specific to the platform. Okay. Yeah. Well, you have... Being worked on. All right. We're going to come back to Warframe at the end for just a tiny bit, but like anything before we jump into some Soul Frame stuff? Anything at all? <laughs> Anything? Anyone? Right no. You guys brought some. No. I just, you know, I did we say thank you to all those that supported D and, uh, and bought Goss? Oh, yeah. Boss Pro bought yeah. Prime Access. Mm -hmm. uh, was very mm -hmm. grateful. Uh, that uh, was a big one, yes. so thank you very much. Yes. That was, was that, huge. Did you slip into Borat there for a I did. I did. I I have a person, I have a, like a <laughs> persona I project <laughs> my financial things onto, and he speaks mm -hmm. very strangely. <laughs> really uh, but did, obviously, right. it it's, uh, means the world to us that you're still with us and you're supporting the game by, with your hard-earned bucks. So we're, you know, rocking the grind and, mm -hmm. um, and being there to play with other people as well is super important for the health of uh, Warframe. And... We have a great year ahead, and it's going to be very exciting, starting with Unbound Everything. Exactly. Yes. Dante Unbound. Yep. All righty. From the world of the soul. Uh oh First, well, we have pictures and video. Do you want to start with anything, or do you want to just go through? This is just sheepishly showing stuff. Okay. That, this is like old. This is like 10 years ago in Warframe, okay. where we're yeah. Yeah, yeah, just showing you. It feels like, uh, This yeah. is just like, hey, check out some stuff we're working on. Random like, stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just, Here's a concept we have. Pictures first. Yeah, pictures yeah. first. We, okay. have, we have our preludes live right now. We have players in there yep. uh, grinding away, which is awesome. And yep. This is just stuff we're working on to add to it. And maybe we can oh, add players. Oh, <laughs> I see. got our beaver. Yep. There yep. he is. That's a crucial character. Actually, he kind of is a hero character. He is a hero? He, he plays a very big role oh. in, yep. I love in the player journey. Yep. So, so that's coming. Is he, uh, yeah, respect. Does he talk? Not with it. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. He doesn't have like a motivational beaver. Maybe with Not his human language, no. yeah. Okay. but speaks yeah. the language of the wild. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. The cutest. This. Uh, I think he's the, the fan favorite internally. Everyone he did. Bober. Yeah. He got some uh, emotes. On Little Canadian him, representation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bow weapons. Uh, we're working on a bow weapon working that should be coming. Out. How did you mocap Probably those? Probably a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did. We tried some. Uh, we tried some of the the yoga. Resistant bands. He does back, you know. I, oh yeah, I'll get them for you. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. My uh, personal gym. Yeah, is I asked Reb to uh, if I could borrow some resistance bands. For okay. Yeah. So some I bow stuff. 
Uh, but we're going to treat this as a primary weapon. Ah. So you can melee with it and then shoot for a distance. Yep. For range. Can Great. I put yep. Thunderbolt on it from Warframe and make it explode? Uh, for 75 plat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Nope. Nope. Yeah. We can just fire through these. It's yep, okay. We can just fire, fire through. through. Uh, oh, yeah. This is Bromius. Rad. Bromius. Bromius. Yeah, we're working on our next Omen Beast. Our next Omen Beast. Oh, yep. That's coming. Awesome. I think Bromius yep. is going to be the. Um, is he he's high there? Like, what's going he's, on? He's, is that a bomb? <laughs> 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 he's, <laughs> like, he's vibing. He's right? vibing. He's yeah. yeah. vibing. Okay. All right. Who is knows what's going on? Is that part of the This is. He's going to use fur about for sure. He's yeah. going to benefit from He's that. He's a Canadian that. grizzly, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yep. Okay. Yep. What else fire we got? Through, got some cool weapons coming. New weapons. If you're in preludes, you've been saying, yep. what other weapons are coming? Yep. Yep. Hey. Yep. Fire through. There's a few yep. of these. Just blast, Great. blast through. Uh, oh, oh, we got some cool crafting. Two Vulcani. Coming yep. in. Yeah, Vulcani. Yep. There's a blacksmith that you can find, and you can craft some weapons and armor. and. Yep. Uh, crossbow. Crossbow coming. Crossbow coming. That's another question about projectile weapons. Yep. Looking great. Uh, this is some cool Whoa. exploration for the family tree that's going to go in your personal quarters that will kind of keep personal a record. quarters. That's yep. you know our nightfold, nightfold, yeah. yeah, nightfold. You know, yeah. kind of we're kind of like visual exploring. You know, this family tree that will keep a uh, history of your ancestors and maybe players you met. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, some. More weapons. More weapons. Fire through. They're gorgeous. Yep. yep. Oh, oh, new enemy You put this in? I put it in. Oh, <laughs> my God. This is, new, this is uh, right now we just have the Ode faction in yep. Preludes, and this is the Some new faction expansion. The coming. Mockeries. Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, very creepy. Yep. I think they only come out at night. They it's only come out at night. Yep. yep. This is a new heavy sinecure that we're working on. It'll be big and tall. You guys are awesome. blasting yep. through. Yeah. 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 He's gonna Jesus Christ. Well, we got to implement <laughs> this stuff. This guy stuff, has, uh, he moves a lot of precious cargo that you got to stop. Oh. Uh, part of the, you know. So he's your loot goblin. Is he also called the Gruzzler? <laughs> <laughs> he should no. be. <laughs> no. No, yeah, that's trademark Warframe. Yep. You can't yep. steal that. Yep. have to pay royalties. Uh, we've got some new materials in the works from Declan, which is gorgeous. Yep. Uh, oh. I just see the kind of visual quality that we're getting is pretty stunning. Yep. Rock. The, the so, Odor yep. sort of industrial. Oh, and oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Avocot's uncle? Uh, you know, he's a farmer sprout. Yeah. So, okay. you know, they have yep. roles. Yep. Oh, my God. He's so yep. I love his leafy, leafy beard. beard. Yep. Angle. The pith hat. <laughs> yeah. So we're aiming to, so I think that's it. And then, oh, and then the Maybe. biggest, so we're aiming to get some updates out into our preludes, maybe expand the player base slowly as yes, well, and yep. then I think the most important addition we're adding, which I guess is a theme for the step stream. I know, animals. Is the next one. Oh yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he got a little cold outside. Oh. Show affection. Show affection. <laughs> Show affection. <laughs> Show affection. <laughs> <laughs> the jelly bro. <laughs> oh. Crucial feature. Crucial. Yeah. Crucial. Yeah. All games. Yeah. From, yeah. Is that I what we learned? I think DE's in a mood in general. Yeah. 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 Animal loving. Yep. Um, yeah. We are going to give away a Gauss Prime Access for All those right. of you that are sticking with us and watching. And then I think we'll just do one or five questions from chat. Maybe take some, I'll take some, maybe if Julie wants to text me some TikTok questions. We have 1,000 plat first. Oh, okay, we'll do 1,000 plat and then um, we'll do Gauss Prime. We'll just do some Q&A. Fantastic, we'll just, cool. We'll just nice. vibe. Yep. Vibin? Like Bromius. Vibin? <laughs> Vibin like Bromius. Vibin like, yeah. That's gonna be me this weekend for sure. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. I'm tired. <laughs> Um, all right. Cassanoid. Oh, Cassanoid. I feel like I know you. Congrats. You won 1,000 platinum. Message you probably us and we'll do. Hook you up after cool. the show. Let's take a, a. Oh, the stats. Yeah. Oh, did we miss showing the stats well, page? I that just, was. Uh, yeah, the, the team That just came together, didn't it? It did. Why don't you hop on over to stats? And actually, this will be a good time to talk about them. 2023 year in review. When combining all mastery ranks, Revenant Prime is the most used Warframe. Wow. 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 Oh, Damn. Could having God mode help yeah. at all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you can kind of see, so Inaros was, I was actually going to segue this to the Inaros thing, but then I, we, we, we know, things happened. But um, yeah, we have our usage stats. This is combined by all mastery ranks. And then if you want to see a heat map per mastery rank, you can kind of get a sense of, you know, the later you are in the game, who, who people tend to trend toward at a mastery rake breakdown, uh, including uh, I think Stalker's in here somewhere because of Deviri. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <low>. <laughs> yeah, which is by design. Yes, Stalker. 
He belongs here just because that's what he does. <laughs> but yeah, I think things are a lot more even than they were in past year stat reviews. Nice. Uh, but you can actually still see that even though we've touched the new core so many times, it's still still top. It's still rocking. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. But he's not the 50% from Catchmoon. Exactly. So. <laughs> and then you can see um, the Nataruk is up there, you know, infinite ammo, pretty, pretty powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Lots of interesting uh, things going on there. So those are some of the stats. You can check that out yourself. Yeah, um, warframe.com slash stats. That's right. Yeah. Uh, okay, what other questions? Thanks to the team who just got that in yes, as well. Yes, thank you for in putting time it for the stream. Oh, oh. Oh, someone's not silencing their phone? No, because Julie made a question. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. TikTok Q, how will stances work for the new Incarnate melee weapons? So you go from fist, <laughs> and then yeah. you go to uh, claws. <laughs> Nervous yeah, laughter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, both Incarnates have some issues. Like, one goes from secondary to primary. So, for example, that's a problem for K-Drive. Uh, I'm putting for K-Drive. I'm for picking up things like mobile defense. Uh, we have solutions, but I don't want to go into them because I'm probably going to butcher them if I say them <laughs> okay. but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we, we do have these things in mind. Uh, excellent. Uh, next, Tenno I've seen lots of augment questions. Yeah, we have. Loads why do you spoil uh, one frame that's getting one? Uh, Loki is getting one. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Loki. Way back. Love it. Damn. All right. Uh, all right. Qu oh, yeah. We'll do the Gauss one and then we'll take a look hey, Prime at. Prime Axis coming your way. Who's going to get it? Um, what about the Pet Rework 2.0, so part two? More, uh, on more on that later. More on that later. Okay. Fermi I. Fermi underscore I. Fermi you have won I. Gauss Prime Axis. Awesome. You're yeah. fast, boy. You can go fast. Uh, Ju Julie's saying, anything to share on Warframe 1999? No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many. There's so, there's tenocon, there's tenocon. so many nuggets. Tenocon. Tenocon. Like, yep. Uh, okay. Any closing thoughts? Oh, Julie's got another one. Yep, we'll see. <laughs> she said hee hee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's not a question. <laughs> um, yeah, so what's going on? Well, I think we, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling good? Lots of cool stuff coming up. Lots, Lots of stool, cool mm -hmm. stool stuff. Oh, oh, Ooh. Oh, Ooh, let's hope not. <laughs> stuff. The if gift that of happens, the you should see your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the gift of the Lotus alerts are live. You can get yourself a pistol ribbon yep. um, and an Orkin reactor blueprint. Yep. Uh, Barrow is here on all platforms. So I was missing the Veracruz, which is the war fan we did the two Tenocons ago. So I finally got it t mm -hmm. today, which is what I noticed he had. I wasn't missing it because I pressed the on, and I only was missing it. Ah, OK. Uh, otherwise, you can look forward to our uh, February dip stream where we'll talk more about Dante Unbound. In the meantime, you know, uh, you kind of can see what to expect. Our next major content drop is March. We have star days all of February. Uh, we are rebalancing the Fortuna economy. If you have an Apple phone, you will be learning lots more about our mobile release in the next coming days and weeks, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Those nails. Those nails. <laughs> Those oh, are I, scary. Have to, I have to end with the You actually expansion. said you were going to do some kind of I know. It's too thing. cringe. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you were so, so excited yesterday. Really cool. The stream has already been cringe. I don't think I can do it. I was going to do... More bullets? <laughs> oh, hey, that was pretty that cringe. Was the, no, it wasn't. That was for the TikTokers. But okay, I was going to do right. Ryoiki Tenkai. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You were so excited. That was pretty good. That was pretty yeah. good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much, Tenno, for watching. Yep. Uh, thank uh, you, actually, to the Digital Extremes team, as always. As always. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we never get a yep. chance to say like everyone's name, um, but so and many. Pick, actually, pick a name. Pick and they actually don't want us. Yes, they don't want to be mentioned. But thank you so much for the team here that allows us monthly to come show the community what we've been working on. We hope you look forward to the next couple. Of I think the amazing support. Like, yeah. there was such a this is such a great way to start the year. Yeah. So, yes, it's uh, incredible. Yep. Yes. All these years in. All these, All these years. years Twelve in. years of dev streams. Oh yeah, we made the poorly aged thing with. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll be forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> and then eleven yeah. years went by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ain't. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I uh, see a lot of augment questions. I don't have the list handy, but I'll leak a couple on my don't Twitter. Don't leak a couple. Oh yeah, do oh, it. Yeah. He wants. He wants the it. Twitter though. Yeah. 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 Our TikTok account can have it. Let the TikTok show them. <laughs> and then you can, like. Sure, they'll leak a couple. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. All right. Or the, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All I right. don't care. Put them in the overview. I give up. <laughs> Defeated. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Bye.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Thank everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, 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 Thanks,